When you think of the term esports, there's a good chance you discount the E and think of football, cricket, tennis or rugby. Realistically, however, you couldn't be further from the truth. When we think of modern gaming, we often see social gaming at the top of the pedestal. However, a form of gaming that has grown massively in terms of popularity and will arguably be the next big thing is esport. Esport is competitive gaming. The idea of engagement with a computer or console and video games, either solo or in a team, in a competitive way. You may find yourself wondering just how exactly can this be considered sport, and to be honest it's quite simple. There are a number of characteristics that can be considered common amongst most sports, such as teamwork, a prerequisite for sports like football, and often a requirement with an esport game like Call of Duty. Strategy, often key in gridiron, as it also is with World of Warcraft. Reaction time and hand-eye coordination, extremely important for sports like tennis, as they are for a fast-paced esport like FIFA. If we take a look at the history of esports, it is quite exceptional, in that while games that have since become popular forms of esport often have a long history in their own right, esport as a genre has really only become popular and important in the last few years. Some of the most popular games that have become forms of esport include Call of Duty, Counter-Strike, Dota, WoW, League of Legends, iRacing, and FIFA. Esport has not only become a hobby for many in the same way sport has, professional esports men and women now make careers out of playing video games at the highest level. An example of this would be the Call of Duty World Championships, a pro gaming event pitching 32 teams against each other for a total prize pool of $1 million, or the Gfinity 2015 Championships. These games show the way esports have changed gaming, in that the developers of games like COD, CSGO or FIFA don't necessarily design games for the pros. They'd make more revenue from the average gamer, yet through the likes of streaming and YouTube, companies like Gfinity and MLG have been born into and created the world that is esports. Socially, esport has also had quite the impact. Not only do thousands of people attend esport tournaments and events, such as MLG Anaheim in 2014 which saw 21,000 people attend, millions also participate and watch online, even more recently with greater growth on pay TV. Esport pros are also now looked at and must live like actual sportsmen and women. They practice continually and on the rare occasion things go wrong, it is treated very seriously. We've seen a number of teams like Optic Form, a group of grown men who live together and play COD competitively as a team. To be successful, they have also developed their own brands and sponsorship deals as well. For the pros, eSport is far more than just a game, and the same can be said for the spectators and the casual, who can often even bet on eSport matches now as well. Anyone anywhere can potentially play eSports, and while competitions are often for more experienced pros, there is plenty of room for grassroots or casual participation, similarly to real sport. Esports as a genre is quite simple. It's competition. Because of the vast variety of games that can be considered esports, there aren't necessarily any specific design elements or principles that each game must have. A game like League of Legends provides a very different style and design to Call of Duty, while Call of Duty provides yet again a very different style and design to FIFA. This makes esports a very unique genre and perhaps raises the question of whether esports is a genre at all, or if it is us the players and companies like MLG who have created esports around a group of similar yet often very different games. The only specific type of play element that is present across the board of esports games is a battle or competition and a scoreboard. In something like CSGO and Call of Duty, this may be a battle to the death with weapons to get the best KD score or to capture the flag. In FIFA, this could be a battle on the pitch to outplay the other team and score the most goals before full time. The beauty of esports is that it appeals to so many people and remains competitive, fun and enjoyable to participate in and watch. While there is still some work to do, especially in relation to gender equality, there is no doubt it will continue to grow in both participation and popularity. So whether you're a woman, man or child who likes sports, entertainment, competition, or maybe you're just a decent gamer who wants to try and make a few bucks, I recommend you check out eSport. Despite popular belief it really isn't nerdy, whatever that's supposed to actually mean, there's more to it than just playing games, and most importantly, many people love to play, and even more of them love to watch.